Hey, and welcome to my channel. My name is Heather, and this is The Fluffy Oracle. Happy New Year, everyone. Today is New Year's Eve, and I am bringing you a financial 2019 pick a card reading. Yeah, I haven't really seen anybody else put these up, so, and I've been holding off on doing it because I've had a whole bunch of other stuff I've had to take care of. So, here it is the long awaited financial 2019 reading. You have choices between pile one and pile two, they are both a half dollar like I usually do for my fi uh, for my financial readings. I'd like to say thank you guys so much for making this year such an awesome year for me and for helping me reach so many goals and for being such awesome, awesome subscribers. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you guys so much for your continued donations and your support of my channel. Thank you guys so much for all your bookings. By the way, I still have a few available. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, all that information will be down below as well as for any like donations or tips if you would like to do that at any, any point in time as well. If you like any of these decks that I'm using in this reading, the information for those will be down below with the affiliate links for you to check them out and maybe purchase them if you'd like. And without further ado, we will jump in with Pile 1. Oh, but... Before we do that, though, <laughs> I almost forgot because I'm so excited about today being New Year's. Timestamps will be down below also, as usual, in the description box and below in the first comment for my mobile users. Thanks. See you in a sec. Alrighty, so before I jump into the cards for my loves who chose pile number one, I'd also like to mention that I'm going to also do a Rebel Deck pull at the end for some extra cheeky guidance for 2019 because I haven't used my Rebel Deck in a while and I wanted to do so. So... Let's get an overview of what we're going to have for 2019 for some advice with these cards. So for 2019, we have best possible decision. And then there's a compass in the card, which for me, it almost looked like a coin when I first saw it. So for me, I feel like this year is going to be all about making the best possible decision in which direction to go, whether it's dream job versus jump off job if that's what you so need right now until you can get to that dream job it's all about making the right choice and the best possible decision at this time and then heading in that right direction whichever way you choose to go i feel it will be the right direction at some point somehow it's just one path may seem a little bit longer than the other to get to that dream job but you have to do what you have to do for the most part Alrighty. So we have organization. So having a well thought out plan and trying to strategize a little bit about how it is you want to go to with either nailing that dream job or even securing some more um, income and abundance coming in for you. It's going to take time and preparation for each of those steps. And also for the most part of the year, it's going to be all about time and preparation as well and making sure that everything stays on task and continuing like along the line of where you want it to go just lots and lots of organization this year is going to be most needed coming up and then we have creativity so with creativity i feel like if music is your passion go for it but don't quit your day job is what i just heard always have something to fall back on Alrighty, and oh, it will help you to go with the flow a little bit easier and also having that extra little bit of income until you can get to your point of success is what's most needed as well for this year coming up. But also for those who aren't interested in a singing career or pursuing anything like that, I feel like being creative is kind of like thinking outside the box and kind of stepping outside of your normal type of thing that you would normally do or looking for a job that's not your normal typical job to help make the most of your time and money this year is what might be needed. And I feel like that you would really probably enjoy it once you actually nailed that um, kind of outside the box type of job, because I feel like it's something that you wouldn't really see coming and that you would really enjoy doing after a while and that you had no idea that it would actually go so well. So let's see what else we have. We have the, <clears throat> we have tra to travel further on my path of personal growth. I call on my spiritual, my spiritual running buddies for help. So with this, I feel like networking and reaching out to friends, seeing if anyone has any openings at their current jobs that they might be interested in, in helping them to get and also becoming references for you as well. And also reaching out to 
friends that you've currently worked with that would possibly be able to give you a good job reference is most needed. My happiness can be measured by the level of my faith in love. So with this, I feel like having a lot of faith in yourself and pursuing the job that you love is going to be most called for as well. And maintaining that faith and that positive mindset in order to get it and manifest it to come in for you. When I shine bright, I give others permission to shine with me. So with this, I feel it's going to be also about a lot of teamwork this year as well with your job and not just letting one person take the credit. I feel like it's going to be a joint effort and it's going to need to be a joint effort in order to get these tasks done. And I feel once you're able to complete those tasks together as a joint effort team, I feel like it'll make you guys shine bright. And in a really positive light to the rest of your coworkers, and to kind of be like model employees for the rest of them as well. We have peace in my pulse. So with this, I feel like having a more relaxed flow for the year is going to also be needed so that you can take the time to have the right mindset with pursuing things and be able to have a clear and focused mind as well. This year, when you're pursuing these dream jobs or like doing projects or just not stressing about money, because the more you focus on lack, the more you will lack. So the more you focus on what you have, the more you will have. Make sense? In the midst of a meltdown, I breathe through the discomfort and come out of the other side. So with this, definitely that relaxed laid back approach is going to be most needed this year to help you get through any stressful times and taking a minute to come back to being in center with a little bit of a breathing exercise for like a one minute meditation here and there. So let's see what else we have for advice for the year. These will be advice from the abundance angels and these are the ask and it is given and the law of attraction money cards that I got, which is a new deck. One second, I'm going to find it so I can get the actual name for you. It says money and the law of attraction cards. So yeah, I was right with what I said the first time, which um, these are the money and the law of attraction cards. And these are the ask and it is given cards. So for the ask and it is given cards, we start off with all that is, <clears throat> is benefiting me, or excuse me, is benefiting my existence. No matter, <clears throat> no matter what has caused your unique point of view to come about, it has come about. You do exist. You are thinking, you are perceiving, you are asking, and you are being answered. All that is, is benefiting you from your existence and from your point of view. So that's kind of a mindset that they're asking you to hold within this year so that you can um, focus on what you have and not what you don't have so that you can have that lack of, or that mindset, abun uh, abundance mindset. Ugh, I can't speak this morning. Everything wants to come out backwards because I'm so excited for it being the new year. <laughs> then we have, why does my saying no to it mean saying yes to it? So with this, I feel like it's pointing out where you may have some trouble with saying no to people and kind of being a people pleaser where you have to kind of be firm in your decisions. If no means no, then that's what it needs to mean. Instead of no, but maybe I'll do it anyway. No. If it's no, then it's no. If it's yes, then it's yes. There's no in between with this is what they're saying with this card. Alrighty. So don't let people walk all over you and don't let them take advantage of you. If you don't want to do something, say so. But if you're okay with doing it, then by all means, help out, do what you got to do. But don't forget to speak up for yourself and say what you mean. When you give attention to something you desire and say it, um, and say yes to it, you are including in it, or excuse me, it in your vibration. But when you look at something, <clears throat> but when you look at something you do not, do not want and say no to it, you are including it in your vibration. You cannot exclude anything that you are giving your attention to. So that's kind of confusing for me. But it still kind of goes along the lines of, okay, well, this is what I mean, and this is my intention behind it. So if your intention is to say no, 
then that is what your intention needs to mean is what this is um giving me all right and if your intention is to help them then you need to maintain that mindset and that frame of mind and saying okay well i'm going to put my full effort into this instead of saying yes but really not wanting to actually put my full effort into it and saying no because then your vibration turns into a no and then same as vice versa with being walked on and kind of like pushed over with saying no but yet doing it anyway i hope that's making sense but I'm trying to explain it the best way I'm getting. So moving on with the law of attraction money cards. We have my life story and, and the law of attraction. Each and every component that makes up your life experience is drawn to you by the powerful law of attraction response <clears throat> to, <clears throat> to the thoughts you think and the story you tell about your life. Your money and financial assets, your body state of wellness, clarity, flexibility, size and shape, your work environment, how you are treated, work satisfaction and rewards, indeed, the very happiness of your life experience in general, is all happening because of the story that you tell. So what you speak is what is. How you speak your life into existence is what's going to happen. What you will for your life to, into existence is what's going to happen. It's that type of mindset and frame of mind that will help you to gain the abundance that you most want and also to help point you in the right direction and speaking things into existence for helping with manifestation as well. So say what you want and mean and pretty much mean it, all right? Because if you say something that you want, even though you don't really want it, then it's not going to help your manifestation and it's not going to help you get what you actually really need and what you actually really want in life for this year. And it can also hinder your goals a little bit. I'm a vibrational being in a vibrational universe. You live in a pulsating vibrating universe of advanced harmonics. Everything that exists in your air, in your dirt, in your water, and in your bodies is vibration and motion, and all of it is managed by the powerful law of attraction. There is nothing that exists outside of the vibrational nature, and as you learn to accept your vibrational nature and being, to, or excuse me, and begin to continuously utilize your emotional vibrational indicators, you will gain conscious, er, yeah, conscious control of your personal. Um, conscious control of your personal creations and of the outcomes of your life experience. So with this, it's confirmation of speaking things into vibrational match and being a vibrational match for what it is you exactly want and putting your intentions out there to the universe and saying, this is what I want. This is what I have. This is what I will have. But you have to put yourself in the mindset of saying, I have X, Y, Z. Even if you don't, you got to almost kind of fake it till you make it but not exactly you have to believe your intentions and your vibrations and your words that you are putting out there so that you can manifest that properly and attract it into you properly as well so that it can come into a physical state of being for you and so that you can actually have what you um truly and most desire so let's see what we have from the angel angels of abundance for some advice we have successful funding your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you the idea. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from, from turning it into reality. Crowdfunding partnerships and other investments are available to help you. So ask for what you want and hold that positive mindset of abundance and you shall have it, basically. And whatever ideas are coming in for you right now, Follow those with your intuition, and it should help also lead you in the right direction from earlier. Raise or promotion. Ooh, somebody's going to get a raise, or somebody's going to get that job that they've been wanting this year for management, is what I hear. Congratulations. An increase in your abundance flow awaits you. This is a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine guidance. Keep up the good work. So definitely... If you continue to have that um, focused mindset of abundance and that positive affirmations every day, it'll help bring in your promotion and that dream job quite faster. And even if it's not like faster as much 
as you want it to be or as fast as you want it to be, I should say, it is coming. It's just going to take a little bit of time and a little bit of faith. Bountiful nature. Spending time in nature helps shift <clears throat> helps shift you into a higher vibrational um higher vibration and reminds you of God's infinite abundance. Go outside and enjoy a walk or a hike with your pet. Meditate, breathe or breathe. <laughs> yeah. Meditate beneath a tree garden. Sit um meditate beneath a tree garden. Sit under the stairs or do some some other activity that Oh, I can't read today. <laughs> or do some other activity to connect with the limit uh limitless vastness. Ugh. So going within is what's um being asked of you and also advice for this with helping you to clear your head and focus upon what it is that you want. And I really feel like a lot of you are feeling quite stuck out there, which hence the reading where I can't speak very well or say what I'm reading. And I'm like, I'm, I know what I'm looking at. I know I know those words and I know I can speak them. But I'm have tr having trouble saying them because I feel like someone isn't speaking their truth or speaking up for what it is they exactly want out there. And I feel like that's an, a mindset that needs to be overcome and to kind of step into your power and take your power back this year. So these are your messages. I do hope that they resonated. And that you have a wonderful, beautiful, abundant 2019. And I will see you at the end for the Rebel Deck messages. Thanks and have a blessed one. Also remember, for those who do not like profanity, you are much obliged to skip the end. Know that I love you and I will see you guys next video. Alrighty, so for my love who chose pile number two, let's see what we get for your uh, messages and predictions for 2019 and some advice to help you through it. And also at the end, because I didn't get to really mention it earlier, I will be doing a Rebel Deck pull after this. So if you would like to stay tuned for the Rebel Deck and get some cheeky guidance for the year, feel free. For those who do not like cursing, you are no, you already know the deal with being able to skip that part of the reading and knowing that I love you and I will see you next video for that. So without further ado, let's jump into your messages and see what we get. So we have success. So with this year, I feel like success is going to be yours this year. And I feel like staying on target is also most, most called for with staying focused in order to achieve that success with nailing an, either a new job, a promotion, or even starting your um, own new business or your dream job and getting that off the ground. We also have prosperity. So I feel like with this new job or even like this new business venture for some of you, because I really feel drawn to say that, I feel like it's going to be a very successful and abundant year for you guys. And I feel it's going to be a very, very profitable one as well by the end of the year, because I'm really attracted to at least by fall of um, 2019, because I'm really attracted to the leaves and the fact that it makes me feel like fall time. And then we have authenticity be careful who you trust and also be true and honest about everything that you do when going for a job and also in the workplace and also be mindful of gossip because if someone starts talking crap about you it can really cost you your job so be very mindful of those around you as well this year so let's see what we get with the um miracles now deck we have i make I make decisions from a place of intuition and power. So with this, I feel like listening to your intuition is going to be quite a game changer for you this year and also leading you in the right direction. And I feel like it's also going to help you to take your power back and to be a lot stronger throughout the year. I pray before I pray before I pay. That's a tongue twister for me. <laughs> but anyways, Manifestation is going to be a big key this year. And I feel if you keep the attitude of gratitude, it's kind of like saying a silent prayer and helping you to stay in that abundant mindset and help manifest um, things a lot easier for you and the abundance that you most need at the time. If I want to feel supported, I must support myself. So you are your biggest um supporter your biggest team player your biggest cheerleader 
You are your support system. Don't feel like you have to lean on everybody else, but know that it's also okay to do so when it is most needed at that time. But you must, in order to achieve success later this year, support yourself and have that strength and power and knowledge in and believe and have faith in yourself that you can do this because you can. You will get there. It might just take a little bit longer than you might want, but you'll get there. Just believe and have faith in yourself. Sometimes no is the most loving response. No one to say no to someone who's trying to take advantage of you. And also when they need to be able to learn to do something on their own. No one to say no and stand in your power when you say no and to back it up. The key to getting what I want is to ask for it. So if there's something that you want or you need help getting, please, by all means, don't be afraid to ask for it. Swallow your pride just a little bit because getting that help might just be the one thing that you really truly need and to get things done faster and also achieve what you want and success faster as well. So let's see what we get from the Ask and It Is Given deck and the Money and the Law of Attraction cards. So these are the Ask and It Is Given and these are the Money and the Law of Attraction cards. So with Ask and It Is Given, it says, I will reach for the best feeling thought. <clears throat> I will reach for the best feeling thought I have to access or I have access to. <laughs> Always be reaching for the feeling of relief that comes when you release a more, resi a more resistant thought and replace it with a more allowing, better feeling thought. The stream of well-being is always flowing through you. And the more you allow it, the better you feel. The more you resist it, the worse you feel. What you resist will persist, as always. So going with the flow is going to be most needed at this time as well during this year. And also not resisting too much and just kind of going with it and seeing where it leads is going to be asked of you quite a lot this year. And also... Speak your truth, stand behind your words, and stand behind what you say as well with your intentions. My uncontrolled thoughts are not to be feared. There is no reason to worry about your thoughts, for they are not like a loaded gun. They may weak, or excuse me, they may wreak powerful and instantaneous destruction, for you have plenty of time. Hold on. Let me make sure I'm reading that right. There is no reason to worry about your thoughts, for they are not like a loaded gun. That they may wreak powerful and instantaneous destruction. All right, so mind your words, but also don't fear them. Because even if you have a negative thought, you can take that thought and turn it around. I'm like, wait a minute, that sounded way wrong to me when I started to read. I was like, huh? <laughs> but anyways, I digress. For you have plenty of time as soon as you become aware of any negative feelings. Hence what I was just saying. You can catch yourself and turn it around. No matter what. So. As you become aware of any negative feelings. To begin to choose other, <clears throat> other less resistant thoughts. And thereby choose a more uh, desired outcome. So once you become aware of those negative thoughts. And catching them, you can turn those around and continue to back to focus on what it is that you want. So as soon as that negative thought pops in and you catch it, remember what it is that you're trying to focus on and bring into manifestation and then turn it into a positive thought and be like, okay, cancel, clear, delete. That kind of old thing. I haven't heard that saying in a long time, but that's exactly what just popped into my head from the Dorian Virtue with the cancel, clear, delete deck. I know or card from that deck. I know what deck it is, and I'll probably post it below for you guys in case you're interested in it, in case you want to check it out, and maybe possibly even purchase it if you're interested in it. So, moving on. My every story is attracting its vibrational match. Every thought that you think is vibrating at a very personal frequency, and by the powerful law of attraction, the essence of that which is like unto itself, is drawn. The thought is now attracting another thought. 
or excuse me, that thought is now attracting another thought that is a vibrational um, match. And now those combined thoughts are vibrating at the at a frequency that is higher than the thought that came before. And they will now, by the law of attraction, attract another and another and another until eventually the thoughts will be powerful enough to attract a real thing, or excuse me, a real life situation or manifestation. So basically, what your thoughts, mind your thoughts and make sure that they are positive enough to continue in that spiral so that you can get into the vibrational vortex and be a vibrational match for what it is that you are trying to manifest. Alrighty. That is straight from Esther Hicks right there because I've seen quite a number of her videos and I love listening to her. And that's part of like an exercise where you um, draw a spiral and you put your positive thoughts and you try and maintain those thoughts for at least um, 17 seconds to help bring something into manifestation. And each thought that's more positive than the one before continues to add to the vibration and make it stronger and stronger and stronger until you get to the center of the vortex and you are a vibrational match. In case you want to check her out, Esther Hicks is one smart lady to check out. She is also a channeler if you are interested in that type of thing. And watching her is absolutely phenomenal. I can earn money by doing what I love to do. So this is all about your dream jobs. As you practice more, <clears throat> as you practice more positive, better feeling story, in time, your pleasure will become the dominant vibration within you. And then as you couple your pleasure with your, your means of earnings, the two will blend perfectly and enhance each other. So the affirmation at the bottom reads, it says, there is no better way to earn money than to do the things I love to do. Money can flow into your experience through endless avenues. It is not the choice of the craft that limits the money that flows, but only your attitude towards money. So if you focus on a lack, then you will have lack. You will not be able to achieve what you want to achieve. If you focus on having abundance and being grateful and having an attitude of gratitude for what you already have, it will then multiply and attract 10 times more is what I've begun to learn to experience and understand. So manifestation and all of all of it's like mostly intention based behind your um your manifestation. So let's see what we get from the abundance angels. It says windfall of abundance. So I feel like this is going to be a very lucky and successful year as well with this card, especially by Christmas and fall time for you guys. An increase in abundance is arriving in many different forms. Some of them unexpected. Be open to receiving and know that this abundance comes to you to support your life purpose, health and charitable work. So I feel like you are going to receive quite some gifts and I feel like tax time is some people's Christmases like me, for instance, or excuse me, for instance. Uh, yeah, I can't even speak instance. <laughs> but anyways, tax time is my Christmas time. Screw regular Christmas time. I love the gifts. Don't get me wrong. I love the season. Don't get me wrong. But I love tax time even more because I'm able to go and splurge and shop till I drop. <laughs> basically some years because I feel like I've earned it and it's a well just deserved reward and I also in then turn it into more decks and focusing on doing my dream job which hence what I'm doing right now is my dream job I absolutely love doing this for you guys I love doing readings I love doing personal readings I get such joy out of helping people and helping them to heal and learn do new and different things as well and also helping them on their ascension journeys and opening their minds and helping them to focus more. We have clearing debts. Your self-care involves removing the heavy burden of financial and emotional debts from your life. You already feel, feel lighter and freer just by facing this topic and making a plan to clear present obligations and avoid future ones as well. So with this, I feel like settling up your bills and clearing your debts will free you up to have that much more abundance and free time to have more flow in and have a better positive attitude towards it instead of feeling like you are lacking when you are not lacking and you have absolutely everything that you actually really need and being truly grateful for them. 
So the last card reads donations, tithing, and charitable work. Give joyfully to the organizations and people who spiritually support and inspire you. And know that your generosity will be, um, excuse me, will be returned to you many fold in miraculous ways. The time, supplies, money, or other resources you donate will ensure that your positive energy multiplies. So this is all about giving and receiving this year as well with um, some guidance. The more you give, the more you will receive as kind of like an even energy exchange, which there is tithing is all about um, basically giving back for what you've received and kind of like balancing out the energies for people who have actually given to you and helped you. So when you tithe, it's an equal energy exchange. So you can donate to charities by um, looking into certain ones, like either online or like when you shop at certain stores, some of their um, items, when you buy them, a percentage of it goes to charity for um, fundraising for that charity. Or even at work, some people have like fundraisers and charities and sponsors and things like that. Or um, at Christmas time, we have adopted families where people can sign up to give gifts to people who don't really have exactly everything that they need at the holidays and help donate and help bring joy to those families and those children that are in need. And I feel like it's an absolute energy, like an absolute beautiful energy exchange when they do that because I have done it myself and I have also received from it as well. And it's just, it's an incredible feeling to know that you've helped someone and to put a smile on their face. And the reward from that is just absolutely unexplainable and just so wonderful and just absolutely positive feeling and it helps to raise your vibration and the vibrate to raise the vibration of the planet i am so excited today that i can't even speak because i'm stumbling over my words still <laughs> but anyways these are your messages i do hope that you enjoyed them and i do hope that you have a wonderful prosperous and very abundant 2019 for this year I feel like this year is going to be absolutely amazing and I will jump right into the rebel deck in just a moment. So I love you guys so much and thank you guys so much for taking the time up to watch my videos and to like and subscribe to the, my channel and for everything else that you guys have done for me. You guys have been truly amazing. For those who do not stay for the rebel deck messages, know that I love you and I will see you guys next video. So be right back in one sec. Alrighty, so for all my loves who chose to hang out with me till the end and check out the Rebel Deck messages, let's see what cheeky guidance we can get for 2019 for you guys. This month has been absolutely amazing for me. You guys have made so many dreams of mine come true. I cannot honestly thank you guys enough. I love you guys so much. You've been so wonderful. Your comments are absolutely beautiful and amazing. I love reading them each and every time that you guys comment. And that did not work for a shuffle. <laughs> but regardless, I love reading all your comments. You guys make me feel so wonderful and so loved. So I will jump right in one second. Last shuffle. Alrighty. Whoop. That's one. What cheeky guidance can we get for 2019? Even if it's a good laugh. Okay. So we'll take three. Make that four. Who cares? It's 2019 for Christ's sakes. Alrighty, so we have some good shit is about to happen. Woo! You yeah. don't let your issues fuck it up, though. So no Debbie Downers today or the rest of the year, for that matter. Hopefully, anyway. <laughs> but anyways, so definitely some good shit is about to happen. It's about to get lit tonight for those who are partying with me tonight. Mostly my family, though, and my coworkers. I love you guys all. For those who check me out. And I will have a drink for y'all. Just a little one. Because my pancreas will probably kill me for it. If I drink it much more than a little bit. We have rubble. Because fuck it. 
Because we about to get lit. It's New Year's. Why not? Don't believe every shitty thought you have. So don't get into that negative spiral. Remember, you can flip it around. Thoughts can be sneaking lying bastards. Totally. You are giving too many fucks. Give zero. So if a negative thought pops into your mind, catch that little bitch and throw it the fuck out. By all means, you are the master of your reality. You are what controls your reality. And you speak what you want into existence. Remember that. Alrighty, these are your messages. Happy New Year, guys. Have a wonderful week and also a wonderful holiday. I love you guys so much and I will see you next video. Have a blessed one.